Just chilling in the Citadel, you know, looking at this wonderful water feature, appreciating the sights and sounds of a remastered RPG. Ma'am, how are you? How goes it? Nice day on the Citadel. Good to see you. Hi, everybody. I'm Brandon Jones. Uh, I'm playing Mass Effect. Two hours of Mass Effect was apparently enough to talk about it on Frame Trap. If you haven't seen this week's episode of Frame Trap, uh, I am on it talking about just my, just my brief little less time, I think, than I actually spent the first time I played Mass Effect before I put it down. Um... Uh, yeah, hype. Be fun to go back and watch these later, but, uh, the, the post went up today. Jones in the future, our post went up today. Um, uh, was supposed to go up last night. I made plans. Didn't pass on the info that I had finished that post, but, uh, we made the announcement last night on the group stream. But June 10th, the kickoff, the first day of E3, literally by coincidence, <laughs> happens to be a day or two away from the day where we're all fully vaccinated, cleared, ready to get back in the studio. So, June 10th will be... Um, the, the Jeff Keighley kickoff for E3, and we'll be recording the podcast that night. That'll be my first podcast back in the studio, so. Uh, suits? Hell yeah, suits. We, at, at a meeting, we all said we should wear suits. I'll just leave it at that. I can't, I can't physically dress all of the other seven allies, but, um, we said we should probably, should probably wear suits. Um, yeah, we're, we're streaming all that stuff tomorrow. We're re I believe we're reacting to Sonic. Uh, I am reacting to... Oh no! It's oh, Dying Light is also doing a thing at noon. It's Dying Light at noon and um, Horizon at uh, nine. The stream starts or this reveal is at two p.m. and the stream starts at nine a.m. I don't know what they're gonna do for five hours on their stream. I don't know what I'm gonna do for two hours. I've never played Mass Effect before. Uh, I realized why I was confused uh, last time because I was I was like, am I in the Citadel or didn't they call it something else? I believe it's the Presidium, and the Presidium is the center of the Citadel. That's why I got confused, because they said, we're on the Presidium. And I was like, wait, the what? There is the Dragon Quest event. Didn't that already happen? Wasn't that like this morning or something? Or, or is that tomorrow? There's too much going on. Maybe that's Friday. Um, and you'll be proud of me. I went through all my codexes. Uh, I, hung, I don't know why these aren't labeled now. Or maybe because I reloaded the game. That's why. I just I, I bailed on the game and then reloaded it, so... According to this save file, I have not read these, but I have. And uh, it's a very nice uh, codex system. I really enjoyed it. Just some fun. I, I read all of the ones I've got so far. But I, ju I just, I just want to say just some fun some fun things that I think I'm caught up on. That is not technically spoilers because the game is telling me this at this point in time. I like the first contact war. I think that's very cool. Uh, the first time we get, ma'am, the first time we uh, hung out with the Turians, I guess, we uh, didn't go as well as the, the Vulcans. There's a little bit of a, a scuffle. And I like that uh, one of the things that I, the series has done an amazing job of so far, and I'm really excited to dive into it, is like they are very locked into their alien races. <laughs> They're like, these alien races act this way, period. That's the way it goes. Uh, I think the Citadel's up here, right? or the, uh, the council, right? Um, so I like that they talk about what, how different races can perceive different things. So when they introduce something information-wise, it's not just like, all right, here's how humans look at that, done. It's like, no, you have to understand how the whole universe looks at that. And so I like that it's the first contact war for humans, but for Turians, it's uh, like like incident at Station 314. They were just like, oh, yeah, there's that time that, you know, humans did a good job at war, I guess. <laughs> it's like, I, I dig that. That was, that, was, that was my highlight of going through the Codex. Um, along with, you know, some other stuff I think I knew. All right. And I read up, uh, you know, on the Citadel. and Interesting that, the, I wonder how much renovations the Citadel has gone through. Because they talked about the Citadel being a Prothean structure. And she's like, look, doesn't, this place doesn't seem old. This is not the vibe I get from walking around here that this is like some artifact from like a, an ancient civilization. This place looks pretty dope, so I wonder. Game audio is quite low. Do 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 do. Can't have that in a game where people are talking. All right. Ta da. The hearing's already started. Come on. Let's do it. Mr. Anderson. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. The guy they behind the, the boxes! Reports, Ambassador. 
The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was Oh, that's right, Cern's at this, I forgot. Friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. Hi! Don't let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. Ah, I thought I got him. Impressed. Almost but had what him. can you expect from a human? Yeah, that's right. The human. The human spite. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Oh. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Uh, yes, I have checked out the Red Room update. I haven't finished it, but yeah, I checked it out. In Avengers. Um, sorry, this is an argument. I really want to pick... There, yeah, yeah. You can't hide behind the Council forever. Yeah, you there know is still your days one numbered, outstanding Come issue. On. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence. I like that Saren is a ridiculously large hologram. Yeah. Do you have anything else? Bigger. To add, make Commander it. Make Shepard? it bigger. Bigger. Um. No, I'm not gonna. You've made your decision. What's the point? I won't waste my breath. Yeah, I, I like that. Those are all negative. I picked the least negative one, and she was still like, "You suck." The council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the guest. Not surprised. Ambassador. Your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Well, it pack it up, kids. Mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. We're going home. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason: to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. Yeah. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. CSEC's council security, they right? Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I, don't I won't waste my time with that loser. History was Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Oh, Citadel security. Okay. Yeah, not Council security. Harkins probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? The Shadow Broker! An information dealer. <laughs> Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. All right. Yeah, what, what... You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. His voice I was is working so with Saren to find mm. and remove a known terrorist threat. Mm. Saren eliminated his target. My ears are just a like, lot of people yeah, died along yeah. The way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought.
I don't know. I guess he's a monster. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I'm a nice shepherd. I know how the world works, Commander. <laughs> Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Hey now. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Wrapping <laughs> up suspects in custody, bribery accusations. I bet that gets thrown around, around a lot in this world. You're an embarrassment the to the species, used to man. In when he got in trouble. You make humans look enough. bad. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. Anderson, you're funny. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Um. Tell me about Bar Levon. Yeah, I forgot he that name. He specializes in moving large sums of money okay. without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Hmm. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. <laughs> it's funny, like, they do... Oh, I got some XP for that. Uh, they do uh, a really good job, obviously. You know, Bioware has so much experience in these, like, really, really, really deep um, conversation skill, you know... Uh, Conversation trees and dishing out the lore via conversation. But it's always funny that you're literally just like, wow, fascinating story, I'm out. Like, the end of the conversation is always just like, cool, later. It'd be fun to, like, end a phone conversation that way or something. You're like, neat, neat, and your brother did what? Okay, cool, okay, bye. Click. <laughs> All right. Are these things labeled? Nope. How do I move up and down? Cursor, scroll. Uh oh. So I can't like travel to other parts of the map? Uh oh. I guess I set a marker to the person. Okay. That guy's up to something. What guy? What's your problem? I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. That's the other thing I'm just letting you know, Chad. I'm gonna I'm gonna forget where I am. These are the, these are pretty environments, but it's just you know it's a blue map and blue walls and blue 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 blue. So I just the NPC by the keeper I can talk about. Go talk to the guy with the insects. There. Okay. Yeah, feel free to point me in the direction of people I need to talk to. Because there's a lot of people walking around. Like this guy right here. Like, oh, this guy's got something to say. Nope. <laughs> so, it's tough. Hmm. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um... Yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Hmm. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. 
I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. Hmm. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. Good luck Long with this side quest. Oh no. Well, Torbon thinks it's tough too. Oops. Hey man, XP's XP. So good luck meaning there's like one spider underneath some staircase somewhere that's just ridiculous to find. Yeah, I'm not gonna. It's funny that, like, I, I, like, read up on all the codexes, and, like, the first conversation I have, he's like, So I'm scanning the Keepers! I'm like, the what? Hmm? The Keepers? The, hmm? Right. <laughs> the elevator music, man. How many years is this in the field? Like, how many? <laughs> a couple hundred? <laughs> this is the- this is the music I should have before the stream starts. Is this on the soundtrack? <laughs> this is- if I- the next time I'm on Soundtrack Club this is what I'm bringing. I'm glad nobody told me about this and I got to just discover that organically. <laughs> I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take it his word. Yeah, I didn't think that meeting was gonna go well. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. Yep. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. I will say, after reading the codexes, it's interesting to find out that Saren... Oh, look what we got here. It's interesting to find out that Saren's, like, working with the Geth, because it doesn't sound like the Geth are, like, the kind of thing you work with. They're just kind of out there doing their thing. So, interesting. Oh, so the Keepers is, is too deep in the codex to go? The Keepers aren't that important? Just enough for a side quest and some uh, some set dressing. That's about it. Poor, poor keepers. Okay. That's a that's that's a Hanar. Well, it says so on the screen, but I still knew it. Haha. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just that terminal. Where are... There we go. So there's Bartha... Okay. In the bank. Alright. Go back. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Thank you, Mr. Starwalker. It never hurts to tell me what I got to do. <laughs> Keely tweeted that he can't wait until June 10th, so it's nice to see him being very smart of the Allies, yeah. I should reply to him and be like, thanks! Aw, oh, Keely. That boom! Every time that goes, I think that's gonna play uh, the, um, yeah, the Beverly Hills Cop theme. Bum, 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 bum. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. The tale Thank of you, how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. Go on! I'm amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. 
I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, oh. I take notice. Nice. Uh. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Ding ding! Uh. I hear your information can be expensive. Thanks, Interface. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business. Yeah. Until Saren turned on him. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Thanks for the info. Well, that sound effect indicated that something special just happened. Um. So yeah, what's tricky is I can't like track quests, can I? Am I like is like the map the main place I want to go to like piece all this together? Cause it's like, I guess I go. Yeah, I guess journal time. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's even it's even set uh, set by name. Okay, so I gotta look up CSEC Academy on the map. Just go to these fast travel spots. Oh, I leveled up. That's what that sound means. Oh, okay. Yeah, these. God, that's this guy, right? Okay. But before I do that, hello. I don't even have a vehicle yet. Why not? Sure. Think I'll do. Wait a minute. Saw something that said talent points, but I think that I already did with it. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna like buff up my squad mates. Oh, cool. Yeah. Guess I don't have to worry about you. Yeah, actually, it's not my favorite. Actually, neither of them I'm, like, particularly in love with right now. But that's it, right? Okay. As long as I'm doing this, there's nothing. Yeah, okay. No, I'm good.
No, where am I going? <laughs> okay, don't want to go to Citadel Tower. Where's the... Yeah. Consort Chambers? Financial District? It's the wards? Okay. Thanks, Chad. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Jorge Gigante, thank you. Respect right back at you. All right. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just look at stuff. Where am I going? Find him down here. He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes it to the Okay. Yeah. Okay, none of those things are where I'm going. <laughs> where? Where is that? It's okay. <laughs> I'll just go down and see what I find. I guess. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Man, I am confused about where I'm going. <laughs> it's one of the major characters in the game, and the game's like, I don't know, walk around. It's just Commander like, Shepherd. all of these rips Excuse look the me, same. Oh, hi, Emily Wong. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Ian's playing a lot, been playing a lot of Metopia, but no, we're not planning an official review. Um, yeah, sure. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. Thank you, Bradley. I was I'll hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. No promises, but if I find anything relating yeah. to your case, I'll inform you. Sure. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Sexy outfit. Will you be standing right here? Will you be right? We, Emily? Did oh, oh okay. C sec, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. 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 That's where I'm going. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, picking group streams next month was tough. We're not going to do group stream in Metopia. We talked about it, but it's t it's one of those games where Metopia could be hilarious for two hours of all of us talking, an like telling the player to do stuff, but like, it could also not work. So. Have we might blockaded fall back on it. The dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Wait, did they say that the Hanar called the Protheans the Enkindlers? Who did they call the Enkindlers? Yeah, Hanar protesters is a funny thing to imagine. Oh, what's up, dude? Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try.
Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to create information for a safe place to hide, so Thank you, she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He oh. baked Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can yeah, thank... prove that Saren's a traitor. Yep. Thank you, Kate. The Council will have to listen to us. Okay. Saren might already have her. Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his clothes. Hey, evidence! That's the thing that you we're looking for right Fist. now! Like, okay, She's thanks. all yours. <laughs> I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. The crew's coming together, yeah. baby. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, okay, okay. Uh, for sure. And I'm not in love with either of these people, but Ashley for sure out of these two. Sorry, Caden. Right? Two? Right? And what a tease, my goodness. Like, those other characters aren't grayed out at all. <laughs> Granted, they're in all the trailers, and I obviously know that they're in this game. Uh, but, okay. Um... Yeah. Yes! Oh, that was easy. Yes! What's up, dude? Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. Um, yeah, I, again, it's, I'm, I'm excited to meet people. I'm excited to like pan, pan out the crew and stuff. But like, as an infiltrator, as somebody who's going to play this game from ranged a lot, uh, I like having a guy who runs in there and pisses people off. That's going to be fun. <laughs> um... So cool. I guess, yeah, I guess let's go talk to Garrett. Let's go to the med clinic. Upper wards. Take it, I'm in lower wards. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan yes. group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. I'm, just, I'm even the just, Krogan like, literally just stoked to have an alien in the party. Helix like, that just, eh, feels right. ...the long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. And if Garrus wants to hang out with me, I'm dropping Ashley like a hot rock. I wonder if that's intentional. <laughs> to make you feel, you're like, I'm making decisions. <laughs> and it's like, it's not, I don't know if it's that hard of a decision to dump. Oh, this was not the place to go. Fun, though, I mean, you know. Oh, yeah! I mean, hey, I don't regret coming up here. It was nice. Yeah. This is the place in that cutscene. And you're a little bit of XP. Nice. Cool. All right, I'll be back. And I know, I know it's got to be tough because I know all of you are like, Deep "That's the elevator to the Normandy." Profile like, in courage no with serviceman Nirali Batia, no a devoted idea. wife and talented chef, serviceman Batia joined That's the fun. Alliance military under the deferred mind. education plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. I also liked that the, uh, the 
planet of the Star Alliance or whatever they called it, like their our uh, um, federation, basically, of this game. I like that. Uh, another thing I read from the Codex is that we um, they weren't really expect respected. Like people weren't really into the idea of having like you know obviously like that's a tough a tough thing to imagine like on Earth like a bunch of uh, countries being like oh yeah let's all just like, have one big league you know let's all join together in and i like that in the news, um, the first encounter war that's when we with elcor that group kind of proved they like the had were very decisive dramatic theater to the elcor with a hamlet who uses elcor body language and pheromones rexus hubert Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions the systems alliance yeah Oh, is Garrus a sniper? Yeah, there might be a little conflict of interest there. Okay. Any of you going up? I don't want to go to CSEC Academy. I don't want to go to the medical ward. I guess I'll just head down to Rapid Transit and see what happens. This isn't Rapid Transit. This is an elevator. Okay, so elevators and Rapid Transit are both labeled the same thing on the map. It's tough, too, because, like, even though I head off in a direct... Like, I really... I guess it's kind of convenient, but, like, I personally don't need to see what my teammates are doing on the map. <laughs> so, like, I'll boot up the map and see three arrows, like... It's like, which which one's me? <laughs> like, how do I... <laughs> Where am I going? Oh, snap. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, what's up? I love that he barely fits on the screen. What is up, dude? I'm kind of tempted to just, like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, those sound fun. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, yes. And then, yeah, do some damage, I guess. But, you know, I'll be doing a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> Big boy. Save. Okay. Right, and this thing's downstairs, so I take a left when I get there. And that's a Krogan, right? I wonder who that is. See, like, the Protheans didn't install that on the Citadel, right? So, like, there's been renovations, is all I'm saying. I just walked past a rapid transit? What? I can't. I'm very confused. BlizzCon has been canceled. Oh my. There's one at every corner. Okay. I was just going by the map. Sorry. Um. So I guess they're like only places that I've like been to and know of, and then I guess I have to like go there first, because it's in the wards, it's upper wards, right? Yeah, go to wards. That's okay. Upper wards. How do I get to upper wards? Uh, that's just rapid transit. That's towards access. But that goes... Okay. No, put your gun back. With every location you've been to. Got it. But this goes... Down. Reports are circulating that Alliance Ambassador Udina has accused a specter of orchestrating the attack on Eden Prime. Udina reportedly based his accusation upon eyewitness accounts of the scene, but lacked the evidence to demand further investigation. When asked to comment, a this council smart. spokesperson would only state Elevator that the lore, investigation of the attacks upon Eden Prime was currently ongoing. Damn it, 
stop it. <laughs> That's like the back button <laughs> in most games. <laughs> it's just like, ready for battle, like, whoa! <laughs> Okay, so I'd go through this one now, because I just went this way. Oh, just through the war. Okay, sorry, should have just gone to the. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare yes, I'm going to of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Da, 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 da. Okay, now I want to go to Upper. No, that's to Flex. Okay. Upper markets, but it doesn't say upper wards. <laughs> to lower wards. To lower markets. To CSEC Academy. There, to the med clinic. There we go. All right. And then I'm over here and I'm facing that way. Okay. I got a new one. One of 500 inside out. All of you were so helpful and patient. <laughs> oh, no. I have at least seven people in chat that are just like. Okay, left, and then oh, up, yeah, down, and yeah, right, yes. <laughs> oh, it is through that door. If I gotta scan this guy first, of course. Cool. I gotta be close to 30 of those, right? <laughs> Probably have like I six. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, dog. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Oh! Oh! Ooh! <laughs> Looking smooth! Looking smooth, Shepard! <laughs> No, I always think that there's no re there's no like reload, right? It's just like charges and stuff, or does it automatically reload? <laughs> Take that, terminal. <laughs> Sorry. Garrus is like, are you serious? <laughs> nice. Nice shot, bro. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. And a problem. Glad I could help. Doctor Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Aliens! Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Boop, boop. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> See, like, this just screams item to me, but nope. <laughs> this is the thing. Fun, fun, fun. And, best part. Yeah, what's I like to go straight to them. They're like, we know, we know. So, right, falls, do some damage. A little bit of that. Actually, yep, do, 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 do. Sure. Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of armor there, sure. Um, cool. That stick? Yeah, okay. Buy gum. Now we got a crew. I got 
100 XP for sightseeing? Cool. Good to know. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think I, I, think I could just go straight there. <gasps> I actually know where that is, and I'm going there! <laughs> chat! Chat! <laughs> I found it. Oh, oh my. Oh, it's not just a nightclub. It's, oh. Oh, we're in the red light district. Oh. Is that a No, it's upstairs. Right? <laughs> no, I'm good. What? I'm not even on the map anymore. Okay, it's a gentleman's club and the red staircase doesn't go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, I should have. I did miss the sexy image up there. I don't know. Maybe a green, a purple, perhaps, would shake it up. Looks like it shut down. Look out! Oh, nice. No, it's oh I remember it's always this one. That's a that's a good rifle. I like that rifle. Area secure. Okay, it's that. Wait a minute. Oh, they're like, oh, they're flam. Wow, that's a tiny little red barrel. <laughs> I'll have to remember those, okay. Stop hey, right you. there. Don't come any closer. I just want to talk, seriously. No, for real, I just want to talk. Wait, what? Hold the line. Rex, did you do that? That's right. The old death by elbow shot. Wait! Don't kill me! I surrender! Tell me where the quarry <laughs> Those is eyes. and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. Yeah! She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the yeah. truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. <laughs> Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Bioware. Good stories. Characters? A little stiff. <laughs> just a just a little stiff. Um. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Yeah, hurrying through the Citadel. Oh. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Uh. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. I mean, he's new to my team. I just gotta let him know how I like to do things. He brought this on himself. 
I mean, Besides, I'm just going to tell Rex what's up. Concerns. I'm not expecting to stop him from doing the anything. Quarry instead if we don't go now. Oh no, I got a timer. Oh no, does it go while I'm paused? 55. Okay, seriously, getting around the citadel is my least is the is the biggest hurdle for me in this game right now. Where am I? <laughs> Where is she? The red staircase, just right outside. Okay. <laughs> it's funny, I'm like, we gotta get there as fast as we can. Come on, team, hurry up. No time like the present. Uh oh. Whoa! I think I had a death wish. Time for this. Yay, I finally used a grenade correctly. Yeah, good cover there, buddy. Oh, yeah, I can... Yeah, there we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on! That L1 to left trigger is, uh, pretty tough. I, I, I keep thinking I'm not running, but that's, that's the run. Red stair, case. Did thank you. you. Bring it? Dave Hype, thank Where's you. Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Oh! Ooh, these are fun enemy types. Oh! Well, that had to happen at some point. Uh, am I loading or resuming? I just ran into action too quick. Resume? Okay. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, yeah, let's just do that all over again. And then circle once I have it out is melee, okay. Oh, and you keep, yeah, that's, I keep doing that. That's right, I forgot the, the quick, the quick resume with weapons. Oh, save. Good call. But those fights were so much fun. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Compared to Knights of the Old Republic, maybe not necessarily 2, because 2 is one of my favorite openings of any RPG. The opening of KOTOR 2 is great, really, really, really fun. Um, uh, Rex, can you... Uh, Space here, Rex. Just set Did me up. Can. I 
knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Everyone's so nice. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Don't you start on the ship at the beginning before. of KOTOR 2? It is a tradition among my people. I thought when opening of KOTOR 2 is the introduction the of HK-47. Maybe I had that wrong. Behind. Alone we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. What kind of evidence did you find? How'd you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. Oh. If quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Got it. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. <laughs> she told Wait, me well. there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one. It's a Troy about the from Last Generation. Remember the '90s, that Star Trek show. <laughs> I feel like Reapers. I've heard that name before. Yeah, I've heard. According to the memory Daniel core, Bloodworth the Reapers about were those. a hyper-advanced machine race that existed fifty thousand years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and mm. then they vanished. At least that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. What do I know? The vision on Eden Prime. Oh, okay. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Weren't the Reapers like the hand the coming out? Is just going to love the thing this. In the clouds, we're like, what's that? Aren't those Reapers? Um... Yeah, I don't... This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her? The Quarian. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. Everybody. You Everybody. Won't this. Anderson, Anderson, do you want to come? Ambassador Dina, do you want to join up? Do you have any skills? 
Anybody? Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. So yeah, I think I might... So you were saying that, like, Garrus is kind of me. Like, I kind of have the same skill set as Garrus, so... I think I'm gonna rock this. No! Get out of here. I'm gonna rock this for a sec. I just want to get her in the party somewhere. Garrus is the boy, I know. I know. Garrus is probably the... For somebody who hasn't played Mass Effect, Garrus is that one character that, like, I... Certainly, Tally has not been in memes that I have seen as much as Garrus concerning Mass Effect. Um, yeah, what do you do? What's your thing? Your tech resistance and shields. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's... Yeah, yeah. Sabotage, that's fun. I'm gonna tell you now with sabotage. Explosives and drones, fun. Drones are fun. And those are, so I got the, oh cool, everybody left so I can like shoot things in here. Um. These are their guns, and then these are the abilities. Okay, shield boost, barrier, warp, overload. Sabotage! I also have overload, okay. Oh, and I have sabotage as well, neat. Um, and then what was heal? <laughs> How do I heal myself? That's not gonna be in there. Triangle or Y? Good to go. Ah, feels good. Okay, thank you. Chat, you're very good to me. Uh, okay. So, I need to check my journal. Are, are you making sure you're scanning the keepers? I guess I'm on it. No, I'm not. Wait. All right, I kind of have more important things going on right now, but. Sure, let me cruise down to Kor's Den and see what's up. <laughs> Is everybody just chilling in there now? Has it, been, has it been repaired? Have they flipped that table back over? Oh, hey, what's up? I heard about you. Commander Shepard, could you spare a moment of your time? Sure. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. That's what they all say. Yeah, sorry, Sarah, I wasn't, like, focused on equipment because I'm, like, in the Citadel. I wasn't expecting to, like, get in fights and stuff, but... Actually, no, no, no. Back. Here we go, yeah, here we go, here we go.
Patron? I love patrons. I got business here, but not with you. Hey, just remember, one dollar, you get all our exclusive shows. Not now. Watch the show. <laughs> Can you imagine if you went to a gentleman's club and some guy was sitting right in front of a dancer and you just walked up, total stranger, and we're like, hi! <laughs> Come How do you like the dancing? What do you want? Uh, What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. I like the drinks. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. Tomorrow I'll be sober. Unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut. Go away. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Oh, none of charm? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! You got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. You got lots so of lists of people in the galaxy. Just straighten up and act like a general. It's better than sitting on your ass all day. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Sounds super Take sus, this yeah. Data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Oh, so that quest is not done? the office is at the back. Office or is that? Is this the office? No, I can't go in there. Did I do it? Oh. Cool. Huh. 
Hi, Harkin. Go away. <laughs> let me let me drink in peace. Go away. Let me let me drink in peace. Gosh, this place is sexy. All right, well, I gotta go. Then I got a, a lot of crazy things I could do. A lot of fun places I gotta find. Might as well go there. I would talk to Zeltan before talking to the consort, just to save an extra trip. Okay. I'm assuming she's back down here, because that's where I have to talk to her, right? In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime... Go to the Med Clan's closest reporter. Oh, uh, okay. Pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Oops. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped up. sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Isn't she like at the end of the super long one? Uh, when I previously played this, I got to the Citadel argument. I remember, or the council. I remember going in the council being like, We go, Shepard! And I was like, Later! And then I'm like, Okay. And I think I remember just kind of being in the situation that I am now, where I was like, Where am I? Where am I going? What am I doing? This place is confusing. Wait, no. So can I take this way? Oh, I was gonna say, are you just like standing there like an NPC, Rex? Uh, there's, uh, yeah, I got that keeper, I think. Oh, two wards. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is kind of people, Rex. There aren't that many of you left. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. Okay, there she is. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. I keep Did thinking they're going to say Fisk. In his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got Fisk's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Hey. I can offer more? I can? What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Little OSDs. Yeah! Well, let's fix this. Oh, wait, no. No, no. Let's fix that problem right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And let's let's save them over here. There's always that first conversation in RPG where they're like, aha! Aha! You thought you were going the right way. Um okay. Oh, so you wanted me to do something in front of Zeltan. Mm hmm Hmm. Hmm. Where was it? Bradley Spees wanted me to do something before Zeltan. Oh, my party members, too. Duh. Uh, sure. The Zeltan thing will lead to the consort story if you're doing both. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, cool. Save it again. Zeltan. The Elcor Embassy. Where are the embassies at? I think I remember seeing embassies in Presidium locations. Embassies! <laughs> slowly, slowly. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Oh, Elkar office, there we go. Up, Zeltan. Strained greeting, human. <laughs> this is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. You are mistaken. See this here if you don't believe us. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. <laughs> Don't you want to see the Elcor perform Hamlet? Sure, maybe like I must speak with the Twelfth Night, Midsummer Night's Dream, perhaps? I'm most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Later. Thankful. That was a great thing you did. You can hear him leaving. That's great. Approving. <laughs> you see, Din, not all humans are as you say. Yeah, Din. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude. Why would I Dan. want to talk to my ambassador? At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. 
Is there something these guys. I can do for same? you, Earth Clan? Goodbye, Ambassador. Yeah, talk about yes. these dudes. Good day, Earth Clan. I thought I talked to them both, but all right. Uh, okay. Consorts chambers. Oh, hey. Yeah. Said he was in the bar right here. Might as well do that, I guess, as long as I'm here. Is that the embassy lounge? Yeah, let's do it. Look at this chat. I'm making my own decisions. Yeah! I'm my own shepherd. Yeah! I'm gonna go into the bar and talk to this guy. Yeah! It's a My Bosker. goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? <laughs> uh, this is easily the most tantalizing conversation, like, direction I've seen. I, ha I have to... You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Batya. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Stop Serviceman Nerali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. She's toxic? You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nerali Batia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hey. hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. That's right. Tell Incidents are going to happen, clerk. Back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Here's the thing, though. Here's my take on this and why I'm getting pushy with this guy. Give me those Paragon points. Because... Yes, it's more, it's good if we learn information about the Geth, but to me it kind of reeks of this idea that, like, we humans need to solve this. And it's like, we're, dude, we're fun. It, like, if, if Batia was cool with it, then yeah, go nuts. But it's, it's his wife, man. Like, no. Sorry. I'm drawing the line. Me, Shepard. I'm assuming I gotta go back and talk to him, but who knows. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. I mean, like, one nice way to end this quest is if I could then talk to just some higher up and be like, we should have contracts for this. <laughs> you know, like, people can sign and say, you know, if Geth mess me up and it helps to examine me. But if, like, that hasn't been done, you can't just swoop in and, like, steal people. <laughs> it's not, it's not cool. So says I, Commander Shepard. And, of course, I'm not 100%. Com oh, they do let me know how many I've done. Nice. Seven. That's one more than I thought. Um, okay. The Consort's Chambers. Seem to be a ward location, but no. Boom! I also think it's a little weird. Have I scanned you yet? 
Apparently so. I also think it's a little weird that they start me here, and this is the hallway I need to go down, and the camera starts, like, here. I'm like, what? Is it back? Oh, no, it's over there. Okay. <laughs> Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Cool story. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Elcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I'm glad I could help. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You Kinda are was. a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone, but it gives you strength. I'm not alone. That I strength have chat. is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. <laughs> that's it. It's kind of tempting. It's like, cool. Yeah, that's, that's my backstory, all right? Ask for money instead. This reward sucks. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small. Mystery. Can I like equip it or something, or is this like a I quest thing? I never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. You don't want to, like, make out or something? Okay, fine. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Strength like points? Like strength points? Or just, like, kind of like a mental strength? Oh, that's it's funny. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, they would have made out. No. That's what an interesting scene means. It means they would have made out. Oh, so they... Uh, the My completed and uncompleted are all on the same list. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. Complete. Okay, cool. Cool. Right, right. Oh, let's keep... Okay. So, I can go back to the council? Oh, okay. I'm all about Kyle Bossman doing things that I have, haven't done. If you want to really scrape the depths of Mass Effect, I suggest, yeah. Twitch.tv slash Kyle Bossman. Uh... Oh, hi. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Save before talking to Anderson and in the Council Tower, then do not the save over it. It is to fix a glitch later. Whoops. You wanted proof? There it is. <laughs> this evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. 
Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all Yay. agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Oh. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! Oh, Dina, you're freaking a out, man. A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. The Terminus systems, I know about those. A galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren. Look at this crew! Fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Yeah, the Council sucks, but, you know, they're the Council. Like, the Jedi Council kind of sucks, too. You know, so... It's just the, you know... Commander Shepard. They're, like, all-knowing, but, like, supremely detached at the same time. It's just kind of the nature of, you know, government. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Right hand of the council. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human specter, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I, I just don't want to cause problems. Otherwise, about time is something. You just yeah. What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'm just, I'm trying to get in the story, and I know it won't cause that many problems, but I think Shepard in this position would think that. I think they would be like, I, I've been waiting for this, so why am I gonna spite them now while I'm literally standing, <laughs> receiving the honor? Uh, but it is funny. Uh, all right. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador. It also Dina. take more time. I'm, I'm like I'm done arguing with, the with these people. Is Just like, ugh, get me out of this room. Get me back on my ship. Congratulations, Commander. We've Thanks got a data. lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. 
Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I don't know if you guys have seen sneakers, but in sneakers, there's a code huh. called SeaTech uh, Astronomy that man. they have to call. So SeaTech Astronomy is on one side of my brain, and SeaSec Academy is in the other part of my brain. I gotta gotta follow one and ignore the other. Yeah, so we're talking to these what guys. Do you expect from a politician. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre training talent. Spectre training talent. Not so oh, there it is. Boom. <gasps> Creates health, accuracy, and effectiveness of all attacks. Grants unity. Oh, cool. So it's just kind of like an umbrella thing. Neat. Cool. Um, so yeah, let's go. New save. Uh, yeah. Okay. Unity equals Phoenix down. Nice. I like that you didn't say, like, Unity equals Group Revive. He specifically used Final Fantasy terminology. I appreciate it. Um, no. It's just so weird when she's like, Hi, I'm here. It's like, what? <laughs> Put the camera here. Why? Why? To turn the camera around every time. Uh, that's very strange and silly to me. Um, okay, cool. Uh, to docking bay? To Presidium? To lower ones? I guess, the, am I going to the offices or the requisition? Well, I guess this is closer. I guess I'll go here and check it out. There's also a quest giver still in the council chambers. Good to know. One sec, looking you up. You might find my information has changed. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you got. Yeah, cool. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. Yeah. Well, I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. Yeah, just give me the stuff. I'll the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. <sighs> Ooh, these are super expensive. <laughs> They get cheaper as they go down? That's interesting. I mean, it's only like 100. Might as well just, that seems like a quest thing I'll need. <laughs> that description doesn't help much. Does it just help me heal? Amplifiers increase biotic abilities by synchronizing the element zero nodes within the user's central nervous system. Gotcha. <laughs> Naturally. There's basically just two of those. Get the grenade upgrade. Yeah, that seems pretty cheap. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. All right, cool. I'm just going to go around the Citadel and just tell people I'm Spectre. Hey, what's up? I'm Spectre. What's up, Spectre? Coming through. Hey, what's up? Spectre. Uh, let's go back to the council chamber and talk to that side quest person. War inspector. Warrant, warrant. No.
And I'm gonna do a big equipment check before we're done. And just see what I got. Uh... Anderson's like, Shepard, there's another quest giver in here. You missed him. Hmm. Oh, hey. Cha-ching! I wonder if those keepers that, like, don't get scanned, like, know they don't get scanned and, like, kind of feel bad about it, you know? And they're just like... Mm. There's, like, a place where all the keepers hang out, and it's like, Hey, I got scanned today! And it's like, you got... What?! You got scanned! Left of the upper staircase. Okay, thank you. That would be this, right? Maybe, no. Below. Okay, sorry. Those are just door teases. So like, Schmel? Oh, hi. No, I'm waiting. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Problems? Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing Yeah! Else. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. Cool. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. <laughs> yeah. I'll upload the info. Yay! No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. I'm just going to see if there's any other keepers over Shmeow. Becoming a Spectre would have been a great crunch. I'm curious if we can uh, manage something of equal importance. Uh, so I'm, like, getting out of here, right? but that sounds like there's maybe something else I can do here. Oh, I'm good. Okay. But where's the... How do I get out of here? I, I know I've been there, but, like, I forgot. Is that in the financial district? I forgot. Let's go to Ward's Axis. I think it's around there. Oh, it's CSAC? Okay. Thank you. CSEC to dock elevator. Yeah. I think that's dock elevator, right? Quarians okay. messed okay. up the whole galaxy when you let the Geth break free. Do your people ever talk about it? Do the Krogan talk about starting a foolish war that resulted in the Turian sterilizing your people? Here we go. All the time. Look at the crew. Oh, hey, what's up, Regina? I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. 
A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Oof, I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. Okay. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. Okay. See what she knows. Mm. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara, Liara Tassoni. Okay. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Okay. Yeah, that's right there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still I now completely forgot where they told me to go. <laughs> you make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Udina, switch to decaf, man. Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. Could we had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. This doesn't matter. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. <laughs> I like the option. The whole that place was on fire. The renegade option. Black like, chemical eh. clouds poured That'd out of the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Messed up, didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, that's like kind of what he does. Me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Sounds like this council just Maybe believes just whatever Saren says. <laughs> humans out of the specters. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I'm their best agent now! I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living. I should go. I know there's I'll more to learn from him need. right now. I just, I'm gonna, you know, come on. 
It's 11.53. Let's do it. Got some XP. Is it right? <laughs> I'm like, is this this way to the ship? Anderson, is it through here? To this tunnel? Okay. <laughs> it's so not. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that door did not look like it was going to open. <laughs> Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. <laughs> sure. Crew, this is Commander Shepard. Yeah! We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. <laughs> the music just slows it to... Okay, and music out. <laughs> The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, baby. The music was built into the intercom. <laughs> should I save here and then uh, do the map next week? Or should I do the map right now? Should we, like, head where we're going? Save here? Okay. Yeah. I will explore the ship next time. I mean, we got, you know, five minutes left in the stream, so. Uh, just look, don't travel. Okay. Um, I, mean, I did, like, take a little tour of the place earlier. FTL Convoy. Check a look. Through here before. Can you imagine like working in a place where like you had to check like that stuff? And you're just like walking down the hallway and you look up like, oh my god! Those readings are way off. No, I don't exit normally. Oh, okay, so that's it. Okay, cool. I think I joker up me off. Neat! Thoughts on the game so far? I mean it's we're we're going. We're getting there. There's just a lot of diplomacy stuff at the beginning. Here we go. It's like there's got to be more of the ship. Um, yeah, I kind of got tuned out of the, the politics, and again, I had a hard time like getting around the Citadel originally. But um, uh, yeah, I know like a lot more about this world now, even just after two, you know, four hours of playing this game. Um, what's up, everybody? We're just having lunch or something. Cool. Nice. Sleeper pods. Cool. Um, yeah, it, it's just kind of like, a, you know, any RPG. Like, I started Bravely Default 2, and then I'm like, I don't have the time for this right now. I kind of got to kick back and maybe get to this later. Because um, it's, it's a, it can be, it's somewhat exhausting. Kind of like diving into like in a whole new world and all these races, all this terminology. I'm like a little nervous now that I'm actually like heading out into the galaxy, like... If I'm gonna fly somewhere and be like, wait, I didn't mean to go here. Oh no, now I'm on a three hour mission. <laughs> so we'll see how much of that stuff that I I mess up. But that's the thing about good RPGs, it's like when you're when you're in them. Um, I'm nervous about <laughs> Can I pull out guns like on the deck of the Chanel? Uh, I'm nervous about abilities. I'm nervous about combat because uh, I tend to kind of take the easy road in a lot of situations. So I'm nervous about not demonstrating uh, really what these uh, characters can do. Oh, save it again. Because um, I see a lot of people, they're just like, remember, you can heal yourself, and remember, you can like have your other teammates do stuff. I forget that like when I bring up those menus, it slows everything down. been playing a lot of open-world action games for the last couple years, so I just got to get back into that, you know, Bioware turn-based combat mindset. Lots of setups. Uh, lot, lots of basic face buttons that do very lots of damage. 
<laughs> things like pulling guns out in public and throwing grenades that I'm not used to. I'm like, is this reload? It's not! It's a grenade. Um, but yeah, this is a blast, and we'll be back. Um, uh, I really thank you, thank you. I'll hopefully say this, you know, every ten minutes on stream, and especially at the end. Thank you, everybody, for pointing me in the right direction, for telling me where to go and what to do. Um, when I want to do those things, obviously I don't want to make, you know, have all you make decisions for me. I'll, I'll sort out my equipment uh, before the next stream, uh, so I'll be ready to go take care of some of that boring stuff in between streams. Um, but uh, you are all making this so worth it. If, any, if, if everyone that is checking out Mass Effect right now in Legendary Edition for the first time could have all of you lovely people backing them up like you were backing me up, it really is an absolute blast. So thank you to the dozen people that are consistently like, left, left, down the hallway. I appreciate that, and we'll pick this up again next Wednesday. Fun stuff coming this week, big week, uh, and again, we're going to be back in the studio on June 10th. So uh, very exciting things coming from Easy Allies, um, along with, you know, 30 more hours of this. Bye!